Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's Kirsten and we are doing just a few of my anticipated releases for the first half of 2021. Now, I'm only talking about five books here. I haven't done too much research into what books are coming out this year. So I will probably be doing another video for ones that are coming out at the end of this year. But if I have missed any, please let me know in the comments below. I'd love to check those out and potentially pre-order them. But for now, I have three that are coming out in February that I'm actually rather excited for. The first one being Winter Keep by Kristin Cashaw. And this is the fourth book in the Graceland series. Now, I really enjoyed the first two books, which is Graceland and Fire. Technically, you can read Fire first because it gives you some background information on the villain in Graceland. And I really enjoyed this well. So in Fire, we are in a slightly different place in the world to Graceland and they have people with abilities who can basically do mind control but they are noted by having very unusual colouring so the animals that can do this are ridiculously vibrant and unusual and some humans that are able to do this like our main character Fire has brilliant fiery red hair and it's a really interesting book there's loads of politics and stuff involved but we are following our main character Fire and I really enjoyed that book and then we have Graceland which is technically the first book but as I said I prefer to read Fire first because it just makes more sense to me and in Graceland we are following our main character and the way the abilities change slightly compared to those in the realm of where Fire is they're separated by like a mountain range and on the side that Graceland is set in people have these graces and now these are abilities that just make you able to do certain things better than you normally could for example some of the graces could be something as simple as baking and dancing but our main character's grace is death and that means that she can pretty much kill anybody that she wants whenever she wants and she hates it she hates being a tool that is used to just assassinate people and again the story goes from there there's loads of plots that are uncovered and it's really good it was a fun book it does follow on with bitter blue which is the third book and that takes place after the events in Graceland. but it's one that i wasn't as keen on it's still set in the same world but for me it just didn't have the same effect it felt a little bit younger to me and that's probably because our main character was younger and just dealing with other things but I just I couldn't connect with it quite as much but now that she's coming out with this fourth one and it's winter keep it's taken place four years after bitter blue so I'm excited to see where it's gonna go and what's going to happen I liked the first two books enough that I want to give this fourth book a try so fingers crossed I like it then of course in February we have the book that I am most excited for and that is A Court of Silver Flames and I am so excited. So this is the fourth book that's in the Court of Thorns and Roses series. It was originally meant to be a trilogy but Sarah Jamars is doing some extra books to it and I am so happy she is because this book we are focusing on one of Feyre's sisters which is Nesta. Now a lot of people don't like Nesta and I can understand why but she's actually one of my favourite characters in this. I didn't particularly like Feyre to be quite honest. I thought that she was a very irritating main character and I just couldn't quite get on with her. Upon rereading the books I definitely appreciate the books more now but I still don't quite get on with her. So having Nesta have her own separate book and it being with her and Cassian I just I cannot wait. I'm so excited and invested for this story. I think it's going to be freaking amazing. And the third book that I'm going to be getting in February is All the Tides of Fate by Adeline Grace and this is the second book in I'm not sure if it's going to be a duology trilogy series I've got no idea but it's a YA series and it's an interesting one I really liked the world that was built so we're in this world where we have different islands and on each island people can do different things so one island might specialize in healing and all the people there can heal and another island might specialize in a different form of magic and the island that our main character comes from is the soul island and it's the hardest magic to overcome it is the most aggressive and brutal and to prove that she can lead her people she has to do a demonstration of her power to prove that she is in control this goes horribly wrong and the story goes from there it was very predictable in places and i do feel the characters needed a bit more development to be properly 
connected to there, there was something not quite gelling about that however the rest of it i was really intrigued by i love the magic system the curse that's upon them i love the fact that we've got mermaids in this we've got a bit of a pirate as well i just there was so much about this book that had potential to me that I'm willing to give it a try for the second book. Plus, I really do love these covers. I think they are stunning. So yeah, I'm gonna give this one a try. I don't know if I'll be blown away by it by any means, but I'm hoping it will at least be a four star read. Then in April, we have a book that I'm very excited to read, and that is The Crown of Gilded Bones by Jennifer L. Armitrout. And this is the third book in the From Blood and Ash series and I really enjoyed this series. I've read the first two books and devoured both of them in two sittings and they are not small books. These are 600 pages each and I loved them. I thought they were absolutely fantastic. We're following our main character Poppy and she is a maiden. Now in this society maiden is very important because we have people that are ascended and Poppy is meant to herald the beginning of a mass ascension likes of which they haven't seen in a very long time. However just because she's maiden does not mean she's treated nicely far from it in fact. She is told that she's not allowed to talk to anyone, she's not allowed to interact with anyone, not even allowed a hug. So she is kept secluded from everybody, is expected to do exactly what they say although they make it impossible and are allowed to discipline her as they see fit which is just ridiculous. Now Poppy does rebel slightly in her own little ways until along comes Hawk and he gets her to rebel more and question more about this society that she is in and I loved it. We also have a vampire war story going on within this and it's just such a great story. I really enjoyed it. Yes, it's predictable. Yes, it could be improved in places, but to be quite honest, I've enjoyed each of them because every time I read them, I'm sucked into the story. I want to know what's happening. It is a romance-based story and uh, it's good. I really, really enjoy it. She definitely does fantasy romance well. I will be trying some more of her books because she has written so many books. It is unreal. So I will be dabbling into a few of those and see whether I like any of her other works. But for now, this third book that is coming out is definitely high priority for me because I think it's going to be a really good series. Plus the second book ended on another cliffhanger. Like, come on. So I really need the answers to that one as well. And the final book I'm going to talk about today is The Six Crimson... Cr Hello is Six Crimson Cranes by Elizabeth Lim and I believe this comes out in July. Now Elizabeth Lim is an author I discovered last year and I really enjoyed the Spin the Dawn book which is the first in a duology. I have the second book but I haven't read it yet but I really enjoyed it. It was a Mulan retelling and it held up to my expectation of being a very whimsical read, very fairy tale esque We have our main character that's got to do these seemingly ridiculous tasks but overcomes them with the help of some magic and it's just it's just a good fun time so I loved that book I really enjoyed it I thought the writing was really good so I immediately got hold of the second book and pre-ordered her next one now Six Crimson Cranes has nothing to do with that duology I don't know if it's a retelling either but we are following a main character who has access to magic that she shouldn't be able to access. It is forbidden, but she manages to forestall a marriage that she doesn't want, but in doing so gets the attention from her stepmother who also has dark magic. And the story kind of goes from there. I don't know too much about it. I don't really want to know because I like Elizabeth Lim's writing and the world that she creates. So I kind of don't want to know too much about this story. I want to be intrigued and just surprised about what's going to happen. If you know whether it's actually a retelling, then let me know. I couldn't find any definitive information on that but to be fair I don't look for it because again I like to go into the books not knowing things. But that's it. So those are the five that I'm most excited for at the moment. I will be doing a follow-up video for books that are coming out later in the year but for now that's the first five books that I have pre-ordered for this year. If you've pre-ordered any books do let me know what they are and what you're excited to read this year. I'm hoping it's going to be a good reading year for everyone. God knows we need it after last year and as always if you have enjoyed this video please do give it a thumbs up and subscribe and I will catch you in the next one.